Well, a poetic start to today's live and exclusive coverage of the 2018 German Masters final. So for just a second, I can be a little philosophical. Yes, snooker is about the players, and yes, snooker is about century breaks, and yes, snooker is about technical skill and ability. But like every sport on the planet, it is nothing without the fans. So should we get this party started? Let's do it! Come on! These are the stairs that Graham Dodd and Mark Williams will descend into the Temperdrome. Berlin's Bees Believers, and they're probably the most generous crowd in all of snooker. You will not get a ticket today, and I'm sure these guys will raise the roof once more for the Eurosport team. Neil Foles, Ronnie O'Sullivan, Jimmy White. The crowd are ready, the Eurosport team are ready, and so are two former world champions with very different stories. Well, that is what they're playing for. Intriguing stories, Neil Folds. Let's start with Graham Dutt. You could say he has a record like no other player in snooker. Yes, because he's played in three world finals, you know, and uh, he's played in uh, two semi-finals here, and now he's in the final. Everywhere else, he seems to just go missing for months on end, years on end. But, you know, we know he's a great player. He's won the world title. He's done lots of things in the game. But now he looks to be back to something like his best. He found the clue. He was going to pack it all in, and he's worked with a different coach, and here he is looking brilliant. And that is a common thread between both players. Jimmy, talk to me about Graham Dutt, the man, because he's so quiet, so unassuming, but a really nice boy. Yeah, I really, I really like, um, you know, his self-belief. You know, he's, as he's won the world championship, been in two finals, but he's never ever beat. And he's, he's one of his biggest critics about his positional play. But he's still, he's never down and out. As, as long as he's got a chance of winning, he gives it 100. percent And Jimmy White, that's why we pay him the big box. He's <laughs> absolutely right. He's been a lion this week. Three out of four rounds, he's went in as the underdog, and it's counted for nothing, as Sean Murphy found out yesterday. Here in Berlin. He was unbelievable yesterday. Worth his place in the final and then some Graham Dutt. But what of Mark Williams? Again, a guy who looked like he was done with the game, disenfranchised, yeah. ready to put his cue away until his wife had a stern word in his ear. And now it's vintage Mark Williams. Yeah, look, I, mean, I think the same applies to both of these guys. You know, they've been in six world finals between them. Mark's won two of his world title finals that he's played in. And they just got, they've got the ability but something has changed and Mark's practicing very hard again he's he's almost reborn as a player and everything else is still there intact you know he's won a ranking event just prior to Christmas here he is with another chance yeah I love Mark I have a real soft spot for him but if he won the lottery he'd shrug he's that led back yeah, he seems to say that he doesn't get excited, he doesn't get any sort of uh, fluttering of the heart, and his, his pulse rate is always down. I don't believe that. I think you've got to have a little bit of uh, adrenaline pumping through your veins to enjoy this game. Ronnie, you know both players so well, so for Graham Dart and Mark Williams, talk me through both their games. Um, they're very similar players uh, in a way. Uh, they, they, they know the, the tactical game, they can play good safety, they can score. They're probably like eight out of ten in, in every aspect of the game. Um, you probably have to give Mark Williams the edge because he probably has a bit more natural talent. Um, but both very, very good match players, very, very good temperaments. Um, do it when it matters. Um, and I don't think he'll collapse like Judd Trump did. Uh, I don't think Graham Dot will collapse like Judd, Judd Trump did in, in, um, mm. last night. So I think Mark will have to, um, f you know, uh, battle more today. Um, it was handed on a bit more on the plate for him yesterday. But they're both quality players and, you know, Mark's been very, very consistent all season. Um, so you expect a good performance from him today, no matter what. And I think Graham Dot as well has kind of found some consistency. Hasn't had the results to show for it, but he, um, he believes, and, and, and rightly so, that he's capable of winning today. Yeah. Absolutely. As Ronnie said, a very different final for Mark Williams than his semi-final <coughs> when the Welsh <coughs> pot machine ruled over the juggernaut. Now he's back in the final. Well, I tell you what, we've got to mention it's all sorts of ages in the crowd, but I think it's a really good day to be over 40 like us, Ronnie. 
Yeah, well, like I said, you know, I think a lot of the youngsters in the game are not that good. So I think now a lot of players that are 35, 40 and above could probably play to their 50 or 60 because the standard from behind is quite poor, really. So um, maybe the 40 is the new 25 oh. as a snooker player. Oh, I love it. I feel absolutely alive. Another number that's important is 17. They'll play to the best of 17 today. Eight frames in this afternoon session. And yes, there's glory at stake. Yes, there's a big check. But make no mistake... It is all about this beautiful thing and getting your hands on it. The opening punches will be delivered on our return. Graham Dodd takes on Mark Williams for glory. Nothing could be won this afternoon, but make no mistake, crushing blows will be delivered. Welcome to the Temperdrome. Throughout the year it hosts theatre, concerts, musicals, but for one week every winter the stage is set for snooker. Graham Dodd celebrates 40 with his first ranking final since the Crucible in 2010 and he knows his opponent so well. A double world champion in fine, fine form, Mark Williams. And Eurosport shows more live snooker than anyone else and the last of the home nations is next. That's at the end of the month in Cardiff. We'll ditch the studio and let the snooker do the talking at the Gibraltar Open and the China Open then we will all be there with bells on for the World Championships but today let's forget about that all that matters is two men one game of snooker one trophy and a nice little check as well Neil Foles just talk me through how Graham Dot has made it here today Typical Graham Dot battling every round. You know, even yesterday when he was behind against Sean Murphy, he had to come from behind and, and won a couple of close frames. In the previous match, he was 4 0 down against uh, a Chinese opponent there, and he came through. Uh, reminding me when Ronnie won it 4 0 down in 2012. So he's in the final up for none, really, because it didn't seem like he was going to beat Zhao Gudong. Mm. Ronnie, Jimmy, you talked about 8 out of 10 and all comparison. If you were playing him today with Graham, is there any weakness you'd pick out, anything you'd target? You. Um, well, I think with Graham Dot, you've got to, you know, no matter what the score is, you've got to like know that he's never going to give up. So you've got to score heavily and keep him on the back foot. And if he goes behind with Mark Williams, even though he's come back a couple of times this week, I think Mark Williams has got the experience to keep him down. So he needs to stay with him. OK, let's hear from Doddy. Graham, not long before the off now, big day ahead of you. Are you feeling some pre-final nerves? I am, but I think that's good. I think if you, if you don't feel nervous, you, you don't normally perform. So um, it's, it's good to have nerves. It's been eight years since your last ranking final at Crucible when you lost to Neil Robertson in the World Final. It's been overdue, hasn't it, getting back to a, a big final like this? Yeah, I think it has. I've, I've been saying in the press for a while that I've been playing quite well. And um, it sounded like a broken record because I kept losing the last 16, the last 32s. But I knew it would click at some point because I've been playing quite well. So... It's long overdue, but I'm, I'm going to try and enjoy it because you don't know if you ever get to another one again. You finished so well against Sean Murphy in the semi-final, coming from behind with uh, three big frame-winning breaks. The way you've been scoring must be really pleasing for you. Yeah, it is, because I think if, if I score well, generally I, I play pretty well, because a lot of the times I don't score that well. I still win matches, but I don't score that well, so I'm quite hard to beat if I'm scoring as well. So that's hopefully I can, I can carry it on for one more day. Well, enjoy the occasion and good luck. Cheers, thanks. I'm sure he will, and it is all about the occasion. I'm sure when you go through a drought, you think, Neil, am I ever going to get a, a Sunday like this? Yeah, but of course, the, these guys have got the ability, as I say, six world finals. Interesting, Dotty three world finals are the most recent three, because Mark's not been there since 2003. But if you've got the game and you're good enough and you can still find a good cue action like he's doing right now, you know, and he's a great match player, so that's why he's here. Uh, Ronnie, Mark, this season, you know, we are just the stats. Ten ranking tournaments he's entered four quarterfinals one semi-final this is his second final he won in belfast he hasn't won out before a third round in any ranking tournament he's entered this season phenomenal with a capital p yeah that's what i was saying you know consistency is what you're looking for you know as a top player because you know that if you're playing decent you're going to win tournaments and i think mark's obviously built on confidence and built momentum up and 
you know, even like last night, he wasn't happy with his performance, but we knew, you know, for, for us, he, he looked like he was playing fantastic well. So it just shows how much belief and he's yeah. got in playing well, you know? And the head-to-head -head will also give him a little bit of belief, certainly the last three occasions. Yeah, Mark Williams has won the last three times they've played, but I'm sure that was a different Graham Dot, and it's obviously a different Mark Williams. So I expect the game to be really close. Yeah, are you ready for the roof to lift off again? Let's go for okay, it. Okay, this is the bit, of course, every German Masters, I speak a little bit of German and it always goes wrong but all i have to say is rolf it is time lose gates rolf lose gates thanks for him hello aus berlin hello aus dem tempodrom herzlich willkommen zum finale des german masters 2018